This presentation is meant for the voters of the great state of Arkansas. Please check with your local election commission or similar government agency for regulations and procedures that apply to your state, district, and or country. In this modern era of politics, sometimes it's hard to tell who's telling the truth, who's wanting the best for our country, who has our children in mind, who is looking forward to the future, what their intentions might be, and what they're really thinking. And because of this frustration, some of us look towards third-party candidates. Third-party candidates such as Jill Stein of the Green Party. But some people aren't satisfied with the candidates that make it to the ballot. And they want to write in their own candidate. And that's a wonderful thing. Unfortunately, in the state of Arkansas, you can't do that. Unless they are a qualified write-in candidate. To find out more, we went to the Washington County Election Commission and spoke with Jennifer Price, Washington County Election Coordinator. For a candidate to be qualified as a write-in candidate, they must actually file with the Election Commission in the county that they are running for, and if they are running for a statewide office, then they would need to file with all 75 counties in, in, in the state of Arkansas. When you decide to write in a candidate that's not been approved by the state of Arkansas as a qualified write-in candidate, your vote actually counts as a non-vote. So for the 2012 general election ballot, there are no write-in candidates. So if you choose to write in a vote for a candidate in any of the races on the ballot, you take the chance that your ballot will not count, that it will stop the machinery and spit the ballot out. Additionally, sometimes when writing in a candidate that is not approved by the state of Arkansas, it can cause an error in the machine that can only be corrected by hand copying your ballot onto a clean ballot by a commissioner or an election official. Anytime if you write across these lines and get into any of this is when it will stop the machine because this is the, the tracking for the Scantron. Someone did mark the ballot, uh, Snoopy, or for president, mm -hmm. um, but didn't interfere with the marks. The the, the the marks would it stop the ballot? No. If it doesn't interfere with any of the Scantron marks, it should go right through the machine. So we would never know that that ballot had been marked with a different name. Needless to say, we were surprised when we found out that we could not just write in any candidate for a particular office and that to be qualified they must register with the state at the same time as anyone running as a Republican or a Democrat. We asked likely voter Chris Denovan if he was aware that he couldn't write in a candidate for any office unless that candidate was already on the ballot. Well, and if they go, let's say, all right, so if you have to register by the spring, what happens if, say, the sitting official, the incumbent, has some scandal happen to them that, you know, they commit some crime or something, and the other candidate gets hit by a bus and killed, or you know has some similar scandal, and neither one of them are anyone that the city wants, and the people obviously want someone else. How do you, you know what's what's our uh, what's our recourse there? The way the law is now, if you want to vote for a writing candidate in the state of Arkansas, they must be registered with the state and qualified at the same time as any Democrat, Republican, or Independent. And if you want to go ahead and vote for that writing candidate in 2012, you might as well be voting no, because it's not going to count.